series and parallel circuits. You have seen the miniature lights used for decoration during functions or festivals. Small tiny bulbs are combined and a chain of lights is created. If you take one bulb out of the string, all other bulbs go off. Why? In a string of bulbs, these lights are connected in a series. You must have seen chandeliers with multiple lights. In a chandelier, even if one light goes off, the others continue to burn. Why? In a chandelier, the lights are connected in a parallel circuit. In this lesson, let us learn about series and parallel circuits. A series circuit is a circuit in which resistors are connected lengthwise, so the current has only one path to take. This is a series circuit with two bulbs. In a series circuit, there is only one path for the flow of current. In a series circuit, if one bulb is removed, the circuit becomes open. The flow of current stops and the other bulbs also go off. A parallel circuit is a circuit in which the resistors are connected sideways. The current in a parallel circuit breaks up with some flowing along each parallel branch and recombining when the branches meet again. This is a parallel circuit with two bulbs. In a parallel circuit, there are two separate parts for the flow of current as shown here. In a parallel circuit, even if one light is removed, the other continues to work. Combination of resistances In each of these circuits, the bulbs are the resistors. Now let's look at series and parallel circuits as combination of resistances. The chandelier that we saw earlier is a combination of resistances in parallel. The Christmas lights for a combination of resistances in series. Let's understand these in terms of current through and voltage across each of these resistances. Take a light bulb. Connect it to a circuit with a voltage of 24 volts across it. Now remove the bulb and connect it to a series circuit with voltage of 24 volts across it. In a series circuit, the voltage gets divided between each of these bulbs. There is a voltage of just 6 volts across each of these bulbs and the bulbs glow with a very dim light. If we remove bulb from the circuit, all the bulbs will go off. Let's connect a voltmeter across the circuit. We can find that the reading is 24 volts. Now let's connect the voltmeter across each of the bulbs. We can find that the voltage across each bulb is 6 volts. Now we will see what happens when we connect an ammeter to a series circuit. We find 
that the reading is 4 amps. Even when we connect this ammeter across each of the bulbs, the ammeter reading remains the same, that is 4 amps. Now let's construct a parallel circuit of the same 4 bulbs. In this circuit, the voltage across each of these bulbs is 24 volts. When we turn the switch on, each of the bulbs start glowing brightly. In this circuit, if we remove a bulb, the others will continue glowing. Let's connect a voltmeter across this circuit. We can find that the reading is 24 volts. Now let's connect the voltmeter across each of the bulbs. We find that the voltage across each bulb is 24 volts. Now we will see what happens when we connect an ammeter to the circuit. We find that the reading is 4 amps. When we connect this ammeter across each of the bulbs, the ammeter reading is 1 amp. That is, the current at the battery is a sum of currents through each bulb. In this demonstration, we have learned to differentiate between series and parallel circuits. The voltage across each resistor in a parallel circuit is the same. In a series circuit, the voltage gets divided between each of the resistors. Here, there are some questions which you may have often thought about. Electric fuses are always connected in a series in an electric circuit. Why? While switching off light of one room, only light of the room will be switched off. Why? When the circuit current exceeds a specified value due to voltage fluctuations or short circuiting, the fuse wire gets heated and melts. Thus, it breaks the connection as shown in the figure and no current flows. This prevents damage to the appliance. In a parallel circuit, even if one branch burns down, current will flow through others. So electric fuse has to be connected serially. When you switch on a light in your home at night, you are working with a light bulb that is wired in parallel with other appliances in your home. Parallel circuits are very useful. You allow current to pass down one branch of the circuit and stop it from passing down from another branch just by switching the appliance on or off. In this lesson, we have learned about series and parallel circuits. Now we have some questions for you to think about. Why is it that we always connect an ammeter in series and a voltmeter in parallel to a circuit? You must have seen speakers connected to a power source for public meetings, etc. Which is the best way to connect these speakers to the power source? series or parallel? Find the answer yourself.